Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, today is handle day. You're gonna do a couple carbon fiber handles, some wood handles, all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll make sure to put my website up in the cards down in the description with Amazon links and all that good stuff. All right, let's just get right to it. Time to figure out. I got all these up to like a mirror finish. Even though I was looking at this and this has like some grind lines I'm gonna have to redo. So, <laughs> as long as I don't put in the light and shine you out. Right here, so I'm about to go back and touch that up, but that's all right. I'm gonna do removable scales on these two. This one, I'm doing wood, so I got this uh, maple, but it looks like there's a spot right here. This is why I hate wood, man. It, uh, there's a big old spot here, a spot here, a few spots here. It's a stabilized wood, but I think I'm gonna have to put it like that. Just to make sure I don't hit that knot right there. But we'll see. This piece looks, well, this piece has one right here too. <laughs> yeah, that'll be plenty right there. And we'll mark this off so we know which one is which. That's the left side. So there's those two. Now, I'm gonna use a blue liner for this carbon fiber. I gotta order some more carbon fiber. This is like my last piece of carbon fiber. It'll be just big enough for this with some scraps left over. And then I'm gonna do the Anzo pattern with a black liner to thicken it up for this little one. Though those do look so good with carbon fiber. So I think I've changed my mind. <laughs> I got this piece with some marble carbon fiber and these thicker liners. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. Cause I ran out of carbon fiber except for this stuff. See, that's where these uh, silver markers come in real handy. <laughs> All right, we want this outside, so. I always forget the cameras overhead. So when I'm editing, you get a big old shot of my hair. It drives me crazy. Look at that, I can even draw upside down. <laughs> Let's go cut these out. I'm gonna do the same with the other ones. No reason to film that. some windows in here. <laughs> there we go. Let's get these all epoxied up. So here's why I mark left and right. Say I put this on this side and then I don't have this marked and I put this on this side. Now we have two of the same thing. Now you would say well duh but uh it happens man. I've had to throw away a few scales because of that and it sucks. <laughs> Especially when you're using something like carbon fiber. <laughs> All right, let's get these glued up. I got my masking tape here. 
I forgot I started keeping everything outside of the shop. I was like, where are my popsicles? <laughs> See, I use rubbing alcohol for everything. That way I don't have to worry about it getting contaminated or, you know, drying up or any of that. Nice and clean. I used to just keep them on the bench and they get all nasty, but look at that. I've almost used half of that thing and it still looks like brand new. Funny how cleaning up does stuff like that, huh? <laughs> Who knew? See, this is where we don't want to get it mixed up. You definitely don't want to stick that in here. <laughs> Look how many times I've used this one. <laughs> Cause that's what I like to do is put a, it's easier to get a piece of paper off and a piece of metal. You just have to make sure, see, you just gotta make sure that all, that's why I make the, the liner bigger, so we can make sure we got everything covered. Just for my OCD and peace of mind, I'm gonna take this so we know. Now we just do that three more times and we're good. the last one I remember I did in the center and there was like a little gap on the end so try to alleviate that <laughs> took a lot of extra time once I because I had them all done in the middle so I had to move them all I'll see you tomorrow well about a second for you guys <laughs> remember I got this parchment paper and stuff like that down in my Amazon links it's a lifesaver because it just man no mess just clean it up see here's why I put the paper towel on them <laughs> it's easier to get the paper towel here off than it is to get this rubber when it's stuck to the epoxy. So, I saved this last one for you guys. <laughs> See, if that was stuck to the G10 or that, it would just be a pain. But boom, we just tear it up. Now we'll just go hit this on the disc grinder. We only need the inside really flat and cleaned off right here. Because uh, now we're going to drill it. To the disc grinder. Here we go. Just gonna hit these on the flats. What I like to do is kind of slide them in from the side and just smooth them out. I even did this wood. I made to make sure they're like uh, right side out. It doesn't probably matter. Might as well be safe than sorry. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I'm not really worried about the outside, just to get these flat on the inside. And now we want to put them up against the blade, all of them, and just make sure we don't have any gaps. So when we drill it, we're good. Yeah, we look pretty good. I already checked this one. Time for drilling. Let's get them clamped up one side at a time. So I went ahead and knocked these down. Like you can see here, the G10 is sticking up. 
that might give you a, a false thing and you don't want to overshoot so I brought it down to the GT so I brought it down to the carbon fiber so it's even so I know everything's out beyond my knife all right I'm gonna have to do this one later I just took it and hit it on the grinder and brought it down it's only G10s I got this one side clamp so we're just gonna drill through here I guess it would help to have a quarter inch bit in here huh I like to line the holes up one two three blocks I do everything quarter inch. That way I can put these in here, lock it down here, and then drill this one. I'll be back when I'm doing the other one. Here we go. I got these all pinned up. We're just going to go straight through them into our block. Boom. Move the pin, move the clamp, so on and so on. This should be interesting. <laughs> this side isn't too bad, but then I'm gonna have to put another piece this big on there, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I had to move this, I, I can only go so far, so I had to move this clamp. Let me go put the other one on. Man, check that out. They just make it. <laughs> I didn't think it would make it. I thought I had to drop the table. But it looks like we're good. <laughs> that was a little bit harder because I had to find longer screws. <laughs> but yeah, let's go put it on pivots. All right, I drilled all of them out. They all fit good. Look, they all stick good. The, the wood sticks real good. So, <laughs> yeah, man. But, and these, I didn't have to do any extra drilling. But these last two, I guess because of G10, G10 for some reason after you drill it seems to swell shut a little bit. So what I usually do is I uh, turn the drill on and then I just kind of wobble this around. But you don't want it pulling through. You got to be careful. Push down and just wobble it open so the pivot will fit through. Watch. See the pivot doesn't go in here at all. So just kind of open it up just a little bit. That way, see, the pivot will only go down that far now. Boom. See, now we put the other one on there. You can kind of tap the other one on since it's only going to go in a little bit. See, boom. Then you can use a bolt to move it if you need to. All right, well, we've reached this point. I think it's a good place to stop. I've already edited most of the video. I worked in like, what, 13, 14 minutes? So it'd be like a 30 minute video. We're gonna have to cut it in two parts because we're gonna have to do the carbon fiber on pivots for one, and then we're gonna have to do glue up shape and all that for the other. So uh, I'm gonna get started on that right now. But make sure to like, comment, let me know if you do anything with your handles different than I do. If, if you got a different way that you think is better, just because I do it this way doesn't mean this is the best way to do it. This is best for me. And hey, you guys might have some way that is even better than that and might change my way of doing it. Yeah, leave in the comments how you do your handles and all that good stuff. And uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff we tell you. I've got shirts like this. i got a couple knives, all that good stuff up on my website, which is up in the cards. And the first link down in the description with Amazon and all that good stuff. Let's see. I'll put the rest of the Knife Making 101 here. I'll put Grinding Every Bevel here. If you want to subscribe, it's here, and my website is here. Hope y'all having a great day, and as always, take it easy.